All right, guys, Ubisoft has been a massive topic of conversation, and honestly, I don't see that changing anytime soon. We've seen this European consumer organization going after them, saying that they're essentially uh, tricking their customers, their consumers, into buying these premium bundles, these coin packs, to essentially engage in this microtransaction predatory environment where these companies like Activision, Blizzard, Electronic Arts, Epic Games, and Ubisoft are essentially preying on the weak-willed, on children, on people with these uh, exorbitant prices for their microtransactions, for their skins in the game, for their currency packs. And this is like the least of their problems right now. This is like, we, there are so many more issues that they've had. They have investors calling for Ubisoft to be taken private after Star Wars Outlaws has completely destroyed their stock uh, value. And of course, shareholders are saying that the, the Gimo family members and Tencent are taking advantage of them. Um, and that's just like the start of it, honestly. Their stock is somehow rebounding a little. I mean, if you go back five, six months, not really. It's it's massively down. But apparently, I mean, Dred Roberts said on Twitter that somebody bought the dip. And sure, you can see right there, it's up like a dollar in the last couple of days. So kudos to them, right? Still massively down. They are being destroyed left and right. Now they're being accused of using, uh, using bots to promote their Assassin's Creed Shadows trailer on YouTube. Again, there is a lot of credible evidence to this. We've seen big organizations uh, have, that have been accused of bot activity in the past, both on YouTube and Twitter, and a lot of it seems very legitimate, like it could honestly be botting. And uh, this is not hard to pick up on. There are people that spend a lot of time, like Master of the TDS on Twitter, going through these bots, looking at the algorithm, the way that they respond, the way that they all act, they all follow the same accounts. And this is just one more sign that Ubisoft is is failing, that they're flailing around, desperate to try to turn, you know, turn the tide to steer the ship right back under the right course, because honestly, things are not going to improve when Assassin's Creed Shadows comes out. Uh, that being said, quick word from this video sponsor, Instant Gaming. If you are looking at picking up Final Fantasy 16, if you haven't picked up Space Marine 2 yet, if you're even looking at picking up Black Myth Wukong, which is a fantastic game, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. It's been a lot of fun. Go check out Instant Gaming. They've got a 4.7 out of 5 star rating on Trustpilot. You can get game keys for Epic. You can get them for Steam. You can get them for PlayStation. You can get them for Xbox. You can even pre-order games on here and save some money while doing it. And of course, my community giveaway is still going for about 12 days. So you can check the link down below. Get in on that. Get whatever key you want on the website. Redeem it for whatever game you're looking to pick up. And that way it'll save you some more money. And again, you don't have to purchase anything. You just have to have an account on Instant Gaming. So again... Huge thank you to Instant Gaming for partnering with the channel and back to the topic. And of course, we have now seen Ubisoft exposed as having a mentorship program that is gender discriminating. And I'm talking this. I don't understand how these things get away with like like legally uh, are allowed to exist. Like this cannot be legal. This cannot be legal. There is no way that you can have a mentorship program where you say we are going to exclusively discriminate against men. Now, again, this is not a topic like with men's and women's sports and, and protected spaces where you need to have gender exclusion. No, this is a situation where they are essentially saying, we do not want male programmers, male developers to enter into this mentorship program. We exclusively want women or people who identify as non-binary or female, and that is that. And this is absolutely crazy to see, and you go, okay, why would anybody like be this nuts to actually do this? But now apparently Cyberpunk, uh, developer CD Projekt Red is jumping into the fray. You know, CD Projekt Red, which we saw hilariously had this menstrual leave program for their employees where if your menstrual cramps are a little too brutal, you don't have to stay at work and you can still get paid. Now, look, I have a wife. She has had these issues in the past. I can understand that they are very uncomfortable, debilitating at times as well. But this is one of these situations where companies that virtue signal by advertising these sort of things it seems like it's more them trying to be inclusive and appear inclusive than really aimed at the employees, like trying to have like a better work environment. That's just my, my two cents on that. But of course, this is a company in CD Projekt Red, which has been very proud of how woke they have become. And they even have like their sustainability, their ESG information on their website right there, you know, out in the open for you guys to see. And of course, the diversity and inclusion tab. Now, again, I mentioned the mentorship program from Ubisoft. Well, here you go. Under diversity and inclusion, just scroll down here a little bit. Under their equitable practices, you see diversity in games. And here you are, girls in the game. 
says we created a mentoring and scholarship program for high school girls to help them take their first steps in the video game industry. Girls in the game participants have the opportunity to learn about many practical aspects of the video game industry, gain hands-on experience creating games, and receive financial support to cover the cost of additional classes, training, or hardware. Here's what I want to know. First of all, what about them being girls makes them better as programmers and developers? Two, why are you assuming that only girls need financial support to become developers? Why would you assume that? But of course, underneath here, you can also see the menstrual leave again. Their say hi to diversity campaign, uh, diversity charter. They signed the diversity charter in Poland. Now, the funny thing about this side topic, Poland has a uh, ethnic group percentage for Polish people of 96.9%, almost 97% ethnically Polish in Poland. But here they have this diversity charter like they're actually doing something. I just find that funny. But back to this girls in the game. Ironically, I don't know if this is intentional or if this is a translation issue because I did have to translate the form from Polish to English. If you go to the fine print where you actually download the form, there's a lot of information on here. But what's crazy about it is there's nowhere that specifies that you have to be female, either female presenting, non-binary, transgender, or biologically female. But you will see things such as the uh program and mentoring relationship and the uh, sorry the recruitment rules one of which says the leading values and goals of the organizers and the girls in the game program are to build an environment based on mutual respect and understanding allowing for a safe exchange of life and professional experiences behaviors that are intended to undermine these values and goals both during and before the program will not be tolerated people who have offended or humiliated others in any circumstance in place and these acts have become known to the organizers will be immediately disqualified from participating in all current and future editions of the program. I find that language there very interesting. Offended or humiliated. Well, again, offense can happen without even being intentional. So you, what this program essentially says is if you offend anybody, anybody takes any offense to anything you say, you're out of the program. Now, again, there are multi uh, parts to this. You've seen that there's actual payment that they give you. Again, it's the idea is to give you a leg up in getting into the games industry. And of course, they have their values such as empathy, sisterhood, respect, honesty, self-development, engagement. Now, look, on their own, a lot of these qualities are good to have as a human being. But what I find weird is that this is a mentorship program on becoming a developer, and they spend more time virtue signaling about the human side of it, the humanistic, uh, you know, again, uh, the, the mindless virtue signaling, the whole idea that this is about becoming a better human and being a better sister to your your fellow female developers what about teaching these girls how to be great developers and make good video games because this is the kind of crap we're seeing at cd project red where mary kenny one of the people that they hired has declared that they have to pull every lever to push the lgbtq agenda and hints that she is working on the cyberpunk 2077 sequel these people are infecting every industry every like level of it doesn't matter if it's in the US, in the UK. Look over here, Poland is pretty based, but apparently CD Projekt Red, which is based in Poland, is loaded with it. So this is just a disaster waiting to happen. I am, this is hilarious. I mean, honest to God, these, these companies, these organizations that try to virtue signal by having these female-only mentorship programs, it's only a matter of time before they get sued, before they get absolutely destroyed in court, because regardless of the fact that they do not say you must be, you know, uh, biologically female or must identify as female you know that they're not going to accept any man anybody who signs up for this because again there's nowhere for your gender but as soon as you have a male name and give a little bit of information about yourself it's going to instantly be rejected there's no way that they would accept a man in this program but i'm gonna leave it right there guys let me know what you think about all this stuff this is absolutely insane i cannot believe that they are following ubisoft uh in, in their terrible decision making but let me know what you think about this and i'll catch you in the next one all right and if you made it this far thank you so much for watching the video thank you for being here i do have two channels minimal effort podcast as well as my gaming channel i do have a twitch and kick for my gaming channel we do live streams over there occasionally maybe once a week and then if you are in the market for a new pc make sure to check out meta pcs click the link i have down below use code tebow at checkout for a special discount thanks again for watching and i'll see you next time